Well, that didn't work. <laughs> it's nine o'clock and one just got in the fucking shower. Oh. We are now on a rain delay for Freakolandia. The problem is it's a two hour drive over there. So if you're gonna go back and forth in one day, you need to get there early. The other problem is it's last time we went, it was so freaking busy. We arrived at 11.30 and had to sit by the bathrooms. So I'm a little touched right now. I wanted to be on the road already. Call me Clark W. Griswold. Blasting through red lights. This is the only country, well, one of the few countries that you'd better stop, look left, look right, look left again before you go through a green light. God, I'm surprised these guys are actually waiting for it. Oh, there we go. Freakolandia, here we come. At this point, you may be asking, what the hell is a Freakolandia? Well, I'm going to, not only am I going to show you Freakolandia, I'm going to tell you how to get here. If you're driving your own vehicle, believe it or not, Apple Maps or Google Maps, if you type in Freakolandia, it will bring it up and tell you exactly how to get there. Essentially, you're gonna roll down Route 5 through Porta Plata, take a deep breath before you go through the traffic there. You're gonna keep going, you're gonna make the turn off to Luperon. You're gonna take that long road, which is now paved, down to Luperon. You're gonna go through to La Isabella, and Freakolandia has actually, over the last couple of years, installed a bunch of signage along the way. It's actually pretty easy to find now. As you can see, you're looking at two hours each way. That's why I was stressing this morning to get on the road early. If you're going to pay a taxi driver to drive you out there, and they're more than willing to do it, just be prepared. You're going to have to pay them for the full day. Let me introduce you guys to the best kept secret on the entire north coast of the Dominican Republic. Welcome to Freakolandia. This place is just an absolutely amazing spot to bring your family or to bring your crew of friends and spend the day. Couple specifics. They're going to charge you an entrance fee to come in. The reason for that is because you can also bring your own cooler onto the premises and drink your own beer and rum. We're going to get to that a little bit later in the video. But for now, I want to give you a general layout and get you kind of soaked into the atmosphere here.
I don't know. I'm kind of reaching here. I'm thinking uh, Bob Dylan and Cher had a love child. This is what it would look like. I mean, world's ugliest mermaid. Adds character. We finally got one quiet moment. Listen, they've got the music so loud here that it's reverberating through the table, and we're as far from the speakers as possible. And this, this video is going to be a nightmare for me to edit, and I know they're going to turn this shit back on any second. Give you guys a quick shot of the price list. It has gone up significantly. This is not just inflation. I remember the first year Franco and I came here, I mean, it was cheap. In fact, the food, hell, they were running into La Isabella to pick the food up, and it was still inexpensive. This, folks, bring your cooler. That's why they charge the admission fee. I, from this point on, when I come back, I'm bringing my own rum. I'm bringing my own beer. I'll order a little something from the restaurant just to keep them happy, but the food's not that great. You're coming here just for the aesthetics and for the ambience. Yeah, here goes the goddamn music. We've, this is ridiculous. We've asked them twice just to turn it down a notch. I mean, have it loud, but not like standing next to the speakers at a KISS concert in 1987 loud. It, it, I'll explain I'm not being an old gringo here. I'm really not. The 24-year-old Dominican-Haitian girlfriend looks at me and says, if they don't turn it down, we're leaving. That's how loud it is. All right, so I'm editing the video now. I've got the original clip volume muted down to zero. I know. They're, my girlfriend's looking at me like, you can't put this on the public video. Save it for the member videos. No, I'm going to put it on there. Look, we bought a couple bottles of rum. We bought a bunch of food. We spent a lot of money. And... The place isn't busy. Just turn it down two notches. That's all I'm asking. No one's asking you to turn it off. Just down a little bit so that we can have a conversation. All right, we're going to leave on a happy note. That's Freakolandia. Like I said, bring a cooler, bring some snacks, bring a towel. Be prepared to spend four to six hours here. Great family spot. I will tell you, I prefer to come midweek. On the weekend, this place is jam-packed. It is busy, busy, busy. But the party is a lot of fun. I don't know if I'd bring the little ones here on the weekend, but <laughs> during the week, it's a blast. So that's it. It's Freakolandia. It's definitely worth the drive. It's one of these little hidden treasures that we have here on the North Coast. I'm going to add a little bonus footage after I say goodbye to you guys, so keep watching. Big things coming for Whiskey and Rum probably next week. We're going to open up the member-only section. We've got videos where I really let it loose. A lot more informative, more in-depth. You guys are going to freaking love it. I promise you. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the notifications. Help me grow this channel. Signing off from La Isabella. Thank you.